between Israel and Hamas in, in Gaza. What is your view of this war? I think when you call it a war, you're doing a disservice to the people who are having their limbs blown off by some of the most advanced technical weaponry on the planet. It is a genocide and it is disgusting. And it doesn't matter which side of the political spectrum you fall on. When you observe a genocide in front of your very eyes, you should be disgusted. Which side is waging genocide? The Israelis are genociding the Palestinians and you know it as well as everybody else. I don't else know. Does. Well, then it seems like your bosses are not allowing you to know it. What perhaps. do you think of, of what Hamas did on October the 7th? Why are you starting the story in the middle? I didn't. I just asked you about the wider war. I'm now asking I can't professionally, specifically about I Hamas. I cannot professionally answer that question without talking about the context that led up to October 7th. Well, nothing to my mind justifies what happened on October the 7th. Nothing justifies what happened before October the 7th for you. Mm -hmm. This is the exact point. So you're talking to a man. I don't know what answer you expect from me, because let's forget the fact that I'm a Muslim. You're talking to a man who is fighting oppression to the best of his ability because he believes that the people in charge of the world are enslaving us all to the point where I detriment my own life. I end up in a jail cell because I'm speaking against oppression. Then you're asking me what I would do if my family was you're blown not in to a jail. pieces. You're not in a jail. Hang you're on. asking you're me not... what I would do if another government Andrew, came along and you blew my family to pieces. You weren't put in a jail cell because of any oppression. Absolutely, I was. You weren't. Of course, you I were was. put in jail cell because you've been accused of serious sexual. I would not have been accused if I was not monumentally successful in speaking the truth. Let me ask you again. It's a simple question. Some people can answer it straight away, including pro-Palestinians people I've had on my program. Many are very quick to say, absolutely. Do you believe Hamas are a terror organization? And that's a very interesting question, but I think you're peddling asininities. Well, just answer the question. Can somebody do me a favor? Google asininities and find out if it's online. I know what it means. If it's not, make sure it's added to Webster on top G's orders. Okay. Just, are they a terror group? You're peddling asininities because I'll tell you why, Pierce. Let me answer the no, question. No, I'm not. Of course you it's are. It's a simple question. That's like me asking. I'll tell you why I asked, because the UK, where you were born, prescribes a mass as a terror They also prescribe me as dangerous to children in schools. Let me explain something to you, Pierce. You're not if prescribed sit, as that. If I were to sit here and say, is stealing wrong? And you'd say yes, and i go, ah, but what if the person stealing is trying to feed their family and if they don't, their family are going to die? Is it still wrong? You're trying to take a so very equating... nuanced and complicated argument no. and reduce it down to no, one not. sentence, no, which not. is a failure. You're trying to equate stealing with a mob of terrorists breaking over a border going to peaceful... Is that what Israel did? Wait a minute. A mob of terrorists Wait a minute. over a border Let me finish. And, and killing people. Is that going, what Israel did? Going through a border on October the 7th. Oh, October the 7th. And uh, massacring yes, young people at a festival, massacring families in their homes and kibbutz, setting fire to them, cutting their heads off, killing babies. Oh, killing it was the most, babies. That was true. Well, fine. Were the babies vaccinated? Why are you being flippant? I'm not being flippant. The point I am I making... I find that funny. No, but the point I am making is that the media lies, firstly. No, no. Secondly, I can secondly, ask you. We can ask. I can ask you about different things at the same time, right? Sure. So I'm asking you, first of all, specifically, what is your reaction to what happened on October the 7th? Sure. I'll answer the question professionally. I do not condone the loss of human life on either side. Mm -hmm. I think anybody doing anything which directly damages civilians is disgusting and abhorrent. However... I would be an amateur if I could not sit and pretend I do not understand the motivations behind either side. This is not even me taking a side. I understand why Israel is doing what it's doing. I understand why Palestine is doing what it's doing. However, I still call the Israeli actions absolutely abhorrent and genocidal. Okay, we're going to come to Israel's actions, I promise you. We will ask that question specifically. But in terms of what Hamas did on October the 7th, do you accept that was an act of terrorism? It's an interesting question because... It's not really. It is. No, it's a very straightforward question. Because you're the person who would have called Nelson Mandela a terrorist while he was still in jail. And one person's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter. I wouldn't for have me to answer that. the question, Yes, you would have. For, the, for me to answer the question, I have to be very professional, Pierce. For me to sit on the outside in Romania with no personal involvement in Israel-Palestine, it's easy for me to say, yes, it was an act of terror. However, if I was in Gaza, if I was in an open-air prison, if my family had been annihilated by bombs from mm. the sky, mm. if everybody I knew had suffered the loss of a loved one, if I had no chance of any kind of freedom or democracy or standard of life, would I believe it was an act of terror or would I believe it's an act of resistance against oppression? You have to be very careful how you answer these so questions. So what do you think? I think...